Hey guys, so I've had some questions about my contour camera, um, so I wanted to do a decent video on it. Um, this is the camera that I use a lot for my uh, vlogging and a lot of my uh, helmet cam stuff. This is my primary camera. Um, this is the Contour Plus 2 uh, camera. Um, you can see the model down there, some of the serial information. The finish is a, uh, first off, yeah, I'll start with the finish. The finish on the camera is pretty nice. Um, it is like a uh, machined aluminum kind of a finish. Um, it looks really good. Um, it's it's kind of got that uh, gun metal-y kind of a look and it's got the name on it and everything. Um, the camera is really durable. Um, I haven't had any issues with it uh, so far. The uh, camera can shoot in 1080p at 30 frames per second or it can shoot, shoot in 720p at 60 frames per second. Um, a lot of videos that I do are done in uh, the 1080p at 30 frames per second. I um, haven't really had any issues um, shooting that way. I'm going to open up the back end of the camera here um, so you can kind of see um, what it looks like. Uh, I guess I'll start off with the back cover. You have your status button. Um, oh, excuse the paint on my fingers. I've been doing some painting today. but Okay, so you have your status button. Um, when you push that, it takes a second, but it'll tell you where the battery is the memory card and whether or not the GPS is functional. Um, that's what that pretty much does. Um, also when you push it to, I'll push it again here, you will get, and I don't know how this is going to react with my T4i, but you will get a laser that comes out the front right there. Um, and what it is, it's a laser level. So when you have it set up on your helmet, or whatever you have it mounted on, you can make sure that you have it level. And that brings me to this next feature. The camera itself, if my camera will focus on it, has a 180 degree rotational lens. So you can literally, this is where it's set for my, uh, my helmet, but you can literally take it and twist it into the position that is level. Um, at the main degree marks um, there at the zero and then over there at the 90 it will actually click into position but this is the typical position that I have it in when it's on my, on my helmet because the camera kind of sits at an angle okay getting to the back section again let my camera focus and there we go okay so next to my thumb there you have the USB um, port um, basically it's really flimsy it's kind of hard to get into you get used to it but it'll flip open the bottom one is the HDMI out for the camera so once I open it here kind of it's got a spring to it um, you've got the battery and you've got the memory card slot. The battery's held in on the right there with that little arm. It is spring loaded as well. So that uh, it'll uh, uh, hold the battery in. Your memory card goes over here. Right now I have a 32 gigabyte, um, uh, uh, 32 gigabyte, 232 gigabyte SD. It's a micro SD card. Um, on the left there, you have uh, a toggle switch that will change it from uh, video 1 mode to video 2 mode. Um, right now I have it set in video 2 because you can set it up for two different settings. One for 1080p or one for 780p or 720p um, and different audio settings. Right now I have it set at 2. And then uh, obviously you can see your HDMI out connection down there. Um, your reset button and uh, all that good stuff. 
Um, again, once I was uh, talking about the tabs here, they're kind of a pain to push out, so sometimes I like to open up the back end and then push it through, close it, and then you have it out so that you can charge it. The camera itself uh, is mounted with what I like to call a T-slot um, system. You can see it here how that works. Um, you can mount it on the left, you can mount it on the right, um, and it literally slides into the um, either adhesive or other um, mounting systems that they have for the camera. Now the camera itself the camera itself actually comes with a waterproof case. Uh, this one is just water resistant so it's not like the normal contour camera, um, the contour Rome. Um, where it's waterproof. This one it's, is not waterproof. It's water resistant. I'd say if you're in the rain, you'd be fine as long as you're not in a heavy downpour for a long period of time. But if you actually want to submerge the camera, um, your best bet is to use the... I'm going to move the camera out of the way here. Kind of zoom out a little bit. And I'm going to bring in the waterproof case. Which is that there. The waterproof case is pretty nice. Um, it's got the collapse down here that you break open to actually break open the inside to be able to slide the camera inside of the um, the, the case there. Um, the case actually actually uses the T-slot system too with locks, so you can actually lock it down to where it won't be able to slide off the mount so say you've got this bad boy mounted on a a jet ski um, or something that's going to get it take a lot of water on a skiing helmet or, or a water skiing or wakeboard or something that can uh, you know actually come off um, that will lock it in there if it's, so it doesn't get jarred and fall off the case itself is actually buoyant too so that's nice you can lose it in the water um, and it'll stay afloat um, whereas with like the the GoPro you need to actually have the um, the inflatable or not the inflatable but the the buoyant back to where it'll actually stay up out of the water um, it also has the ability to get back to the status button so when the camera's in here the status button is directly in front of this plunger button and you can push it in and it literally moves that plunger there and hits the button. The camera is turned on and off by this top switch. The camera must have some kind of magnetic system in it above the switch on the camera that is so that it can use. You can kind of see the magnet in there but that's how it uh, kicks it on and off. It actually doesn't move the mechanical switch. Um, it must use some kind of magnet. So that's the actual case um, that comes with the camera. So that's pretty nice. Um, it comes with a variety of different kind of mounting systems. I'm going to go ahead and bring my helmet in here. I'm going to do a different review on my helmet itself and I'll kind of get into the, the mounting of my contour mount on my helmet. But I'll bring it in here so you can see what it looks like. So I'm going to move this out of the way, drop this forward and bring in the side of my helmet. Okay, get a little bit more into focus. So you can see the side of my helmet um, has got the adhesive contour mount and the camera will literally just pick up and slide on. Um, you can see that the, can the mount is actually at an angle because when you wear your helmet, you're not looking directly straight forward. Your head's kind of at an angle, um, especially when you're on a crotch rocket um, and you're in the tuck. So that is the actual mounting systems. Now for the overall camera itself, um, I think it shoots pretty good video. Um, you know, I've had some issues with um, audio and I think a lot of other guys have too and I've had questions about it. The external mic on it really is, or the internal mic on it isn't that great. Um, I actually use an external mic that literally plugs into the bottom of the camera right there um, when I do most of my vlogging. 
and all that. So I haven't had too many. To me, the ex, the internal mic isn't issue, isn't really a big issue. But if you do contact Contour, they will be more than happy to send you a new one that they calibrate themselves. Um, you can actually get into the software that comes with it and turn up the sensitivity for the internal and external mic. You can adjust the daylight. You can adjust uh, the video settings. The uh, camera itself actually has an app too, so you can get on your phone and actually look. Since the camera doesn't have a screen on it, you can actually look at the video itself through your camera and it connects via Bluetooth. So that's my review on the camera. It's a great camera. I like it. I'm trying to keep this short and sweet and to the point. Um, you know, I, I think I like it better than the, the GoPros because I don't have to mount it to the top of my helmet. I can mount it to the side a little bit more streamlined and I don't look like a Teletubby driving down the road um, with a big camera sticking off of it. So, give you another look at it here. It has a Bluetooth button up here um, so that when you actually connect it to your phone you'll hold that down, it'll flash and then it'll connect. The video, like I said, is turned on by the slide system. This bullseye will eventually kick on, meaning that the GPS is working. And then there is a lock system for it too, so that when you're out riding, it's impossible to push it back for it to turn off. So, it's the camera, the front end of it. It's got the recording light right here, so when it's on it'll actually be red down there. Your laser is up here. It's actually, excuse me, it's 170 um, degree wide angle lens, so you kind of got that kind of view um, with it. The mic is on the front. The internal mic is right there, so you do get some wind noise, but they do make shields for that. So, If you have any questions, just let me know. Um, that's my review on the camera. Um, it does have a tripod mount too, I forgot to mention that. So yeah, any questions let me know, hopefully this helps you guys that have asked me some questions in the past uh, about the camera itself. Um, this is my review on the Contour Plus 2 camera and I hope you enjoyed it, thanks.